Buenos Dias Gunners Collective. Back at it, you already know. Like a motherfucking pa da pa pa pa, like a motherfucking smack at it. Bye bye. All right, there, as you can tell by that thumbnail today, yes, indeedy, we're gonna talk about some graffiti that we left on the bus. So I was scared, don't tell anyone. You know what I mean? That was me. All right, in a menudo style in direct fashion, we're gonna get straight into it. We're gonna talk about little Traesio, rest in peace who passed away recently, about a week ago. And man, his name has been all over social media. It's been out there. And a lot of people are saying he said, she said. When he first passed away, people were saying car accident. People were saying shooting. Um, I mean, they were all over the place with the bullshit. He had a heart attack. He all my they didn't know what exactly took place. But after further, you know, after days passed and further investigation of fucking by the proper authorities and everyone that was uh, doing their due diligence, uh, it's come to pass that he was involved um, in a shooting, okay? In a shooting that took place in Colorado Springs, um, and he passed away, you know, and it happens. It happens to young soldados that are out there putting in that work or that are out there doing this or that are just out there in the limelight rapping. People are envious. People want that clout, um, and a lot of things can lead up into the shooting. Now, what I'm hearing on my side, you know, and I talk to a lot of individuals, man. There's some haters, some that are living greater, right? A lot of people are saying a lot of, oh, Paul Rue, they're saying a lot of different shit, right? But from what I hear from my peoples is that he passed away uh, behind some beef, right? Behind maybe his rap lyrics, possibly. Now, I went back and I listened to a lot of his songs. I had listened to a few of his songs and I thought he was up and coming, man. I thought he was a good rapper. I thought fucking he was making moves and, and, and making power moves and shower shoes. So he was out there doing his thing. You can't be mad at a youngster that's striving, that's hustling. That's really out there becoming known. He was out there getting that bag. He was getting to it. You know, he had his young child. He was only 19 years of age. I know in my previous video that I did, I said he was 28. I was all over the place myself with it. You know, you didn't know how old that motherfucker was. They were saying 18, 20, 30, 40. Um, he was 19 years old. And he passed away having a young daughter. And that's very unfortunate. I myself having young children, I know how that shit. You know, you lose a family member. I've lost primos. I've lost fucking my jefito. I've lost family members. Um, it's never a good look. It's never a good thing. It's hard to stomach. Um, it's hard to get over, you know, but a young man that has a, has a daughter and he's just trying to make a way for himself. He's trying to get that bag by any means necessary out there legally getting to it. Um, you can only feel for him, you know, now, um, I listened to a lot of his music and I will say, although he was talented and although he was coming up lyrically gifted and, and had that strive, right? He had that go get it. He had that hustle mentality. He was moving fast with a purpose. And in that fashion, what he also was doing was disrespecting a lot of people. Okay, there wasn't one song that I listened to where he didn't disrespect Norteños. There was a lot of busters this and busters that. Now, in this day and age where the coming together is real for power, orale, where the coming together is, is, is definitely happening, where people are letting fucking the past be in the past. The shoe war is gone. So I was scared. People don't even wear those kind of Stacey's anymore. Now they wear Jordans, right? So people are on a whole different level. There's a whole different outlook when it comes to the raza, right? North and South. Um, he still was sticking to them old ways as far as the disrespect. Now, I don't know how it is in Colorado. It's different than it is in Norte Califas as well as Sul Califas, right? I know in Southern California, motherfuckers, some of them don't even know what a Norteño is. What does that say? Que wanna live? Fuck that. I'm too busy fighting with Playboys. That's it to worry about. A Norteño, we'll catch up to him when we catch up to him. And as far as the Norteños, the war is going on between upstate Sureños and Norteños, as well as inner workings, uh, barrio on barrio, red on red, or whatever the case may be. People are going at it, you know, just because they can. Now, when it comes to other states, things are different. I've always said that other states are 10 years behind, and that's no disrespect. I'm not trying to disrespect another state, but so I'm still when it comes to the brown shit that we started in California, right? Um... They're behind a little bit. You know, the gangbanging mentality is still real over there. What we did in the 80s and the 90s when Sasuke, we went to the free clinic. It was filthy capacity. Now, how bad can a piece of ass be? When we was out there getting tortas and knocking them down, right? And knocking AKs down every once in a while. Uh, motherfuckers are out there doing that now. Okay, does that make their gangbanging any more different than ours? Charlie just means they're doing it at a later date and time, right? Menudo. And, and so they're doing that. They're doing that out there in Colorado. I heard the North and South issues are very, very vicious over there. Now, I wanted to touch on Colorado, period, as a whole, the state. Uh, it's just like Compton. Oh, didn't it? DJ Quick said it, right? Colorado is definitely just like Compton. They're out there getting it. They're on some Bompton shit. They're on oh, Pablo. They're out there getting it. 
Say it with your chest. They are. They're out there sending with their chest and texts and things. Oh, my. You know what I mean? They're out there getting that issue on. Um, and it looks like little Travi got himself caught up in that situation. Allegedly. That's what it's looking like, right? And I think his rap nerds had a lot to do with it. And I talked to a homeboy out there in Colorado who was very close with him, who had some interactions and some dealings with him in a surreal style. And he told me that, you know, the guy, um, he just had his ways of thinking. He was a true and firm believer in his cause. He was firmly implanted solidarity, I said, when it comes to the sword, right? He was about this surrealism, straight up. Ain't no doubt about that. And he displayed that in his lyrics. Now, I know in the past, in the 90s, we had high power records from down south. And there was a whole lot of this and that when it came to Norteños. And vice versa, up north, man, you had a lot of Norteños that would disrespect the south side as well in their music. And what that did and what they realized over time was all that did was put them in the caja, put them in the box. And their reach wasn't touching the masses because people are scared of that shit. If you go to a music producer and check it out, I can rap good, eh? Oh, no, yeah, I heard your music. You're pretty good, dude. Right? Hey, but says, okay, man, fuck them. Let this on the other side. Says, okay, look it. This is a tape. It's called Fuck Them. It's called Fuck You, Pay Me. You want to play it? Oh, yeah, man. Oh, yeah, you're gifted. Yeah, but uh, am I going to get killed over this? Hey, probably, homes, but besides, get fucked. I got your back, eh? Yeah, well, uh, yeah, we're going to yeah, get right on that one. Boom, shelf, right? You're, hey, the shelf life ain't real. You're not getting no love, no action. You're getting put in a caja because, yes, maybe people from your uh, area are going to identify with it. They're going to like it. They're going to like that push. Hey, homes, I'm all pumped up. Let's see, you hear that shit? That about those, like, fuck these other about those Chucky, get up. What are they? Meanwhile, demons getting down, right? And they're not liking that. People are not liking that. And, and you know, other people here are like, man, this little Vato disrespects all the time, homes. We got some for his ass when we see him. And this may have been the case. The guy told me that he was disrespecting a lot of individuals and a lot of individuals were on his ass, allegedly, right? They were tripping, you know? And let me tell you about the street game compared to the rap game. In the rap game, if you got the lyrics, if you're gifted, if you got that delivery, you got fucking June on the beat. Oh, really? You got them slappages, you know? Hey, the mechanics. You got motherfucking producers and people that are really putting your shit out there. Um, Yeah, you're going to get known. You're going to get heard and everything's all fine and dandy in Candyland, right? But... If you're out there in the streets, really gangbanging homes, really getting to it, well, now, oh, everything you say will and be held against you. Oh, pa, bro. Just ask Wack 100. It's being held against him like a motherfucker. He woke up this morning, his tooth, this one over here, the molar, is over there. Bang, bang. 60s, right? And that's just what it is. Um, so that's how it's going down. And that's what the guy told me, that he did a lot of disrespecting in his rap lyrics. So I went back and I listened. You know, I just kicked on back like this, and y'all, right? And I was bumping his music, and I heard a lot of disrespectful, uh, derogatory terms towards his enemigas as well as Norteños. I said, mm, there was cringe moments. I said, what does that mean? I don't know. My daughter told me, Dad, that's a cringe moment. I said, what does cringe mean? She goes, you know, when you when the hair's on the back of your neck. I said, no, Charlie, I don't got hairs on the back of my neck. Only when I don't get a taper, right? But it was a cringe moment, meaning that he was still doing that old school disrespect shit even now. And I think that ultimately is what could have led into his death. Now, there could have been a whole different, a whole bunch, a lot of different scenarios. You know, when you're gangbanging on the streets, you have an amigas. I don't know one neighborhood in the world that doesn't have an enemy. You know, people take on enemies just to take them on. Says, I don't like them fucking other vatas over there. Why? I don't know. Because you see that old lady over there? That one hyena. She's bad little motherfucker, right? One time she was at a party, eh? She was sucking well, up, eh? And then all of a sudden, you know what I mean? She had to stop because her old man called. Fuck their old water because of that, eh? You know what I mean? I didn't even get mine. You know what I mean? I was over there trying to get a ponienta and look at what happened. Spent some la tira. Fuck that. Green light, right? It doesn't, you don't never know what leads up into the fucking gang violence or what leads up into the beef. But believe me, there's history there and people beef. So it could have been something as simple with Lil Traveso as, as Vatos rolled by. They were throwing up gang signs and, brr, you know what I mean? Let them have it. Or people were waiting, lying in wait, and the hunt was real, okay? I know that back in the days in my neighborhood, man, there was a thing called duck hunt, that's it, right? What duck hunt was, you better duck, that's it, because we're hunting, right? Um, we'd go out, carloads of us, allegedly, you know, looking for the adversary, looking for an opportunity to explore our options when it came to bullets flying. That's just the way it was, and it was vice versa. Hey, like my wolves, we probably passed each other in traffic. And we're going over here to their body. We're going over there. Ain't no one there. You know what I mean? You ain't going to see no one. So eventually someone shoots up a street sign. We were here. I said, right? And that's it. And usually that's how it went down. Every once in a while you catch a motherfucker sniffing. Usually the person that's innocent just walking to the store for a Slurpee is the one that gets hit. So that's we got him. I said, yeah, but I don't even know if that was one of them bottles. Did you see a shirt? What did it say? It's a Ninja Turtle. Fuck it, eh? You know what I mean? 
That full Raphael had a red paño. Boom. Justification, right? And that's just it. People were tripping like that. It was to that point when it came to gangbanging. Any little speck of red or blue, and you can catch that opportunity to be the one to catch the statistic and the ballistic. Bang, bang. Manula style. Oh, power really was giving it to him like that. Still are, right? Obviously in Colorado. Um, so this guy succumbed to his injuries and, and died by the bullet. Okay, um, it's unfortunate, but at the same time, if it was his lyrics that led up into it, that was on his people for not giving him the game and not telling him, hey, look, you little homie. So I said, that's cool, homies, you feel a certain way about these bottles, but you're making music. Music is a universal language. Music is what's going to get you that bag. If you're so concerned and ready to get that bag for your daughter and get that bag for yourself and really make a name for yourself, you can do that without disrespecting other people. Because what happens when you disrespect other people? They are not going to battle rap. So I said, hey, look at, hey, go back at them. I went to the free clinic. It was filled to capacity. Now, nah, they're not doing that shit. They're not going back and forth. They're coming for reals. Not for fakes, right? And obviously that's what happened here. People came back for reals. Now, am I going to say absolutely, positively, 100%, this is why he was uh, murdered? No. You know, anything could have led up into it. Like I said, he could have easily been at a Mexican restaurant earlier and ordered the last of one of guys and the fucking guy behind him got mad because he wanted those two. And so he double backed on him and came back, go to a pinchy nine millimeter and said, Sasuke, I was hungry that night. And that could have been it. It could have been as simple as that. It could have been as simple as maybe his old lady was giving a mammon to some guy named Tyrone. He felt bad, you know what I mean? And mad because she used her teeth. And Sasuke, he came back, was looking for her, seeing him, and boop, 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 boop. Now, there's no disrespect intended. I'm just saying, there's a lot of different scenarios that could have led up into someone getting shot. It happens every single day. Sasuke, wait up. Yeah, the wind's blowing. Someone just got shot. That's how it is, allegedly. Things are ugly in the world that we live in right now. So a shooting is commonplace. It's normal. It's normal. It's a, what are the day? Normal, right? It's normal. You know, it's not nothing to it but to do it. It's not even the incident or, or the shooting that happens that makes it uh, uh, so fucking uh, out there. It's the person who gets hit. And in this case, because he was an up-and-coming young rapper striving, that's what made it such a big incident. They're not talking about the two other murders that happened later on that day three blocks away, right? Shit happens. You know, it gets to cracking out there in Colorado. Now, um, if he died behind rap lyrics, that's as unfortunate as it gets because people's mouths will get him caught up. I'm myself. Got motherfuckers who's mad at me, right? People are mad at you by what you say. Hey, I'm about to say too much. It's, 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 we're going to stab him over and over and over again, right? They're like, God damn, bro. Is it that serious? You see, more. it's that serious, right? People are tripping, they trip over the littlest and slightest things. So imagine if someone keeps disrespecting them on wax and it's out there to the world. Well, that's highly disrespectful. Oh, bro. People are tripping, right? And that goes to say, just like uh, WAC 100, just like um, uh, to the dick, uh, to the wobble, 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 to the dick slider. Fucking, uh, 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 what's his name? 96 and 69. Okay, and then you got the other motherfuckers over there. The island boys. Hey, no one getting money like we're getting money, right? Are you getting money? To what degree money, right? Or is that that shit you order on Amazon Prime? I don't know. I can't call it like an alcoholic, but what I do know is when you have this big mouse, they will sink your ship. I sink his battleship, mister. You know what I mean? His fucking carrier, his launcher, right? They'll sink your battleship quick because people are not playing the disrespect. Not anymore. Not anymore. It ain't going down like that. You know, maybe back in the days you can get away with a little bit of fucking he said, she said. But nowadays, these young these young cats ain't playing that. They're like, what? The smackalization is real. Has that fool Gunners Collector said? Bang, bang, right? They're hitting you with a 50 caliber Desert Eagle, and you're like, good loud. You know what I mean? <laughs> Straight up. They're in the club, but not like 50, yo. They're getting their ego on, baby girl, with a 50, though, right? They're, they're really doing what they're doing. And it's an ugly situation. And this little young cat, little Travieso man, found himself on the other side of the gun. Ugly, unfortunate, man. And, and, and But it's very detrimental to your safety and security if you're out there running your mouth on music and talking shit about people. What do you expect to happen? Eventually, someone's going to see you and karma is going to catch up to you. Now, like I said, this could be further from the, from the truth, man. It could be not behind his rap nerds. But what I'm hearing is that he was a very disrespectful individual that was disrespecting a lot of people. Now, I'm not trying to shit on his character and name. I loved his music, man. I respect his get down, man. I thought he was a great rapper that was aspiring to be something that he could be and was coming up. And as being a young brown kid, man, Rasa, I was behind him 114%. Are they game making? 113%, I said, there, there you go, right? I was behind him either way, and I was hoping that he would come up, man. Ain't nothing like a young brown brother, man, trying to come up in the game. 
That's what we strive for, to help our people, to reach one and teach one. Sounds good, we need a new one we can get nowadays, you know, <laughs> and that's just how it is. But um, that's what the homeboy told me. You know, he was like, yeah, bro, you know, that's what we're hearing. And that, uh, you know, maybe he was, it was because he was disrespecting a lot of people. So I looked in my DMs, man. I looked in my comments and a lot of people were like, good, that fool was disrespecting anyways. Okay. And I looked at a lot of these guys and it was a lot of Norteños and a lot of people with the Northern uh, philosophy that were saying good. And I just shook my head in bewilderment. And the reason I shook my head was because Charlie Holmes, nobody deserves to get shot. Nobody deserves to come up short. You know, his daughter will never see her father again. Nobody deserves that, no matter what they said. Okay? But I know what happens. And then I looked at other DMs where there's a lot of authors, even from the South, who are like, hey, well, Spencer Holmes, that's what he signed up for. Charlie! That is not what he signed up. This guy signed up to be a fucking rapper. He signed up for studio time. He did not sign up to go out there and get shot. But I understand. When you're out there living that double life, under the dark wing duck, you're a double agent, right? When you're out there living that dark, uh, that dark wing duck life, that double life, you know, you're out there, you're going to do two things. You're either going to get killed or get double life, right? And that's just what's going to happen. So I could understand the gangbanging aspect and mentality of it. And it's unfortunate that these young kids, man, and not only these young kids, because there's my age still out there wiggling, right? That people are out there thinking that the gangbanging is going to be separate from the music. Hey, look at it. So, look at this. How it's going to go. Can I, can I see my schedule? To his manager. So, Monday, we're going to go out there. We're going to shoot the adversaries, right? Gangbanging for real. Tuesday, I got studio time. So, you already know what it is. We're going to go ahead and put the final up so we can gangbang. But I'm going to talk shit, though, in the song. Wednesday, so I'm scared. I think I got on my month schedule by that Torta from down the street. You remember that one? The one that was sucking you up last week. Yeah, I got it this week. Thursday. So, let's get back to the studio. Back. Da -da 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 -da. We're going to use that beat. Yeah, that one. Yeah. And then Friday, Gang Banging 101. You know what it is, right? When you're trying to do too much too fast and, and, and you don't got your mind on right, you're not going to shine on right, right? You need to go ahead and separate business from pleasure or pleasure from business or however you're doing it, man. And let the gang banging go. Okay, let it go at least for fucking while you're trying to come up. People that are trying to play and serve two master's homes, what's going to happen? Someone has to prevail. And in this case, the gang banging did. And he ended up shot. Now, I'm hoping, I'm truly hoping, man, that his family and condolences to his family are able to decipher what really truly happened. Because when questions are left unanswered or unsaid or unspoken, um, that's the worst thing of all. You know, it's kind of like fucking when someone says, hey, who's that dude who sings that song? You're like, fuck, it's on the, now I'm going to think about that shit all night. That shit's on the tip of your tongue. But you can't say it. Then, and then about two in the morning, you remember. You know what I mean? And then you're like, fuck, you're calling everyone. Hey, bro, hey, I remember who sang it. And dude's like, hey, I'm trying to get him at home, bro. I don't even give a fuck who sang it. Hey, it was fucking confunction. You know what I mean? Come back. No, you got it all fucked up, but you're trying. I really want to see you too. He's like, hey, look at it. If by chance you let me come over. Yeah, don't stop, don't stop, don't stop. Right? He's winning. And that's just how it is. Okay, but let me say something. Um, at the end of the day, whatever the case may be, the tragedy of what happened to this youngster is what should be spoken on even more than anything else. The who's, the why's, the where, the what's, and the how's. How? He got shot. Why? We don't exactly know, man. It could have been things that he was saying or just fucking something that happens for the moment. Or it could have been against some game banging shit. When? The other day. Why? Again. Mm. And how? Mm. You know what I mean? And it's just an ugly situation. But I will say this, man. It's an unfortunate situation. It's something that happened. It's something that everyone's going to have to learn to live and deal with. And hopefully it doesn't happen again. Now, am I going to fucking put my money all in saying that it won't happen again? Charlie Holmes, I'm going to go the opposite route. It probably will. <laughs> More than likely. The world we live in, man, if you try to fucking game man and do all that, guess what? You're going to get shot. Just how it is, man. You know, loose lips sink ships. Close your fucking mouth if you don't want to be involved in the shit like that. That's just what it is. Anyways, so the little Travis to die over his rap lyrics. Quite possibly. That's one of the scenarios. That's what his homeboy told me. Yes, his homeboy from his fucking neighborhood. His homeboy told me that. Hey, we think it was because he was fucking disrespecting people, bro, and people double backed on us. Hey, you know what? Hey, it happens, Karnan. I said, you know what? The best thing to do now is to move forever forward with uh, showing him respect, memorializing him, and doing what you could do, and take this as a lesson learned, bro. That, hey, motherfuckers ain't playing out there. If you live by that gun, bang, bang, you'll die by it, you know? With that being said, I hope that you move smooth with a purpose. I hope that you get everything that you want coming to you. Remember, at the end of the day, it's all about your familia. Going out there struggling and striving for your familia. Separate your business from your pleasure, homes. Because sometimes if it leaks over, you'll get caught up. And then your old lady will know where you were at that weekend. Getting the mammo.
Bang, bang. If you like this, please hit that like and subscribe. If not, you can hit that thumbs down. Heavy is the head that wears the crown. I'm going to continue to strive and struggle for what I truly believe in, which is the unity of our rasa and bringing you the exact factual and actual things that I could bring you, the best content I could possibly provide, so that way the head knows what time it is. This is the gun. I give you silk suits, blue diamonds, Gucci bags, all kinds of shit. I give you shit you can't even pronounce, but now I can't give you nothing of bad advice. Other than little tribe, you were still young. You're going to learn one of these days. Bang, bang. This is the gun. I got it all fucked up, huh?